Hi, this is Curtis Dykstra, a.k.a. The Oven Birder. Thanks for tuning in. I love to travel and have learned to love it by a lifetime of travel with my family. By adulthood, I had visited well over 40 different states, and currently I stand at 49 states with only Hawaii yet to visit. The thing is, I wasn't always a birder, nor did I record my bird sightings everywhere I traveled. When eBird came along, it encouraged consistent and complete records of the birds you encounter wherever you are. Maps allowed users to see which countries, states, and even counties within states they had recorded birds in, or hadn't. This method proved effective in encouraging me to color in all the areas I had not been to before, and thus discover new and out-of-the-way places along the way. Over the years, I've gone on many birding adventures, covering the far north in places like Alaska and northern Minnesota, down south to places like the Rio Grande Valley of Texas and southeast Arizona, as well as the Florida Keys. Along the east coast, like New Jersey and the swamps of North Carolina, out west to the mountains of Wyoming and the coastlines of California and Oregon. On a road trip to North Carolina in 2022, I adjusted my route to visit two brand new states, Georgia and Alabama, and colored in other states I had previously visited but never birded in, such as Tennessee and Mississippi. The morning I birded the northeast corner of Mississippi after two hours, I was over 50 species, even though that hadn't been my goal. An idea was born. Maybe I could try to see 50 birds in every state I visited. By 12.30 p.m. that day, I had 50 for Alabama and ended up with 63. The next day, I accomplished 50 species for Georgia and South Carolina. In fact, I accomplished the task on that trip in Illinois Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia. As the trip progressed, my idea evolved. Why not pursue 50 birds for all 50 states by the time I'm 50 years old? At the time, I was 45 and figured five years was enough time to complete the task. In the summer of 2023, I knocked off Wisconsin, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Montana. While North Dakota was my 49th state to visit, I still have a decently long list of states I need to revisit to accomplish my 50-bird goal for all 50 states. I decided to strategize and started a plan. The states I had to visit included Kentucky, Arkansas, Kansas, and Louisiana. I also needed to visit New Mexico, Utah, Nevada, Washington, and Idaho. Last, an East Coast trip was going to be necessary as New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Maine, and Vermont all needed to have all 50 birds. I broke down my trips and started to schedule. First, I would travel to Louisiana. On my way, I would hit Kansas, Arkansas, and Kentucky as well, finishing off the southeast U.S. I have already booked my trip and am participating in the Yellow Rails and Rice Birding Festival in southern Louisiana. This will, hopefully, fulfill another birding goal of mine to actually see, and not just hear, both yellow and black rail. In January 2025, I have now booked a trip to Albuquerque, New Mexico to visit Bosque del Apache Wildlife Refuge in the winter to see all the waterfowl, cranes, and other water birds. Beyond this, I hope to fly to Spokane in the spring or early summer to hit Idaho and Washington. The following winter of 2026, I hope to fly to Las Vegas to bird Nevada and Utah. In the spring of 2026, I plan to do a road trip to the East Coast, hitting all of the states from New York up to Maine. Last, but certainly not least, I need to go to Hawaii. Right now, my plan is to go in early 2027, the year of my 50th birthday. 
This trip would complete my goal to visit all 50 states and on top of that to see 50 bird species in all 50 states by my 50th birthday. I plan to document my trips with videos and a blog. If you are interested to come along with me on my adventures, please subscribe. If you want to see some of my past adventures such as trips to Alaska and North Dakota, check out my past videos. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you out on the birding trail.